my goodness. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's uh, John, the net guy. It is Tech on Tuesday, number 34. This is a special event for GoTracks. I probably should be looking at that camera, shouldn't I? Special event for GoTracks. I had to make some major, major changes for this event to take place. And I'm not talking just little stuff, little, you know, intro trailer. That's the first trailer I've ever done. Um, but I've had to change the studio around just a wee little bit. Now, you guys have seen a little bit of the studio, but you haven't seen the studio uh, <laughs> ever before. I'm just taking a look, seeing a couple friends showing up. This is awesome. I can't uh, wait to show you what I got to show you today. But first thing I got to reveal is the studio. There we go. <laughs> this is a view you don't normally get. Normally, I've got this table right here that's out in front of me, kind of blocking everything. And uh, yeah, I could not figure out a way to get three GoTrack scooters in here, enough to show you guys without going to the, the full view here. So this is a bigger lens, bigger camera and all that stuff. Sorry about the uh, slight delay in getting going here. It's been a day. But you saw a couple little clips about the scooters today. Uh, we are taking a look at the full line, you know, and I say full line, GoTrax makes hoverboards. You're not going to catch me on a hoverboard, but they make hoverboards, they make electric scooters, they make e-bikes, they make all sorts of cool stuff. But I'm going to be showing you a ton of really neat stuff today from GoTrax, including this lineup. Now, this is a good representative lineup of their e-bikes, or sorry, <laughs> e-scooters, I should say. Now, what makes this an e-scooter and not a toy? I'm glad you ask. Well, these things are not powered by your standard, you know, uh, lead acid batteries, sealed lead acid batteries. And I'll tell you why, because if you look at like this one, for example, look how skinny it is on the bottom. This is the battery on the bottom. When you go pick up a Razor or one of their competitors, it's literally... 10 times heavier, it feels like sometimes, uh, but it's literally heavier and it's old battery technology. It's old, you know, seven amp, nine amp hour batteries jammed in there, you know, running series and there you go. But these ones are using more Tesla style batteries, I would say. These are using the lithium ion battery uh, banks. They're fast charging. So you're gonna get charged in under five hours usually, between four and a half and five hours, and you're back on the road. The other really big thing, you know, your other ones kind of go slower and slower and slower as you use them. These things have huge range, 12 and a half mile range uh, for this one over here. We've got a 17 mile range for this one over here. And the big daddy in the middle, the G4, gets 25 miles. That's like a commute ready scooter. <laughs> That's what I was so excited about. Taking a look real quick. Showing and reveals, there we go. Hey, there we go. Zachary says, hey, a little bit space. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, well, I'm going to have to do some more cleaning, apparently. Uh, Pinky gave me some some trouble last time. I am I wish I had this cord mess figured out, but honestly, I needed a way in a 10 by 11 room to show you three complete scooters and do a quick reveal of another thing, which is the premiere of my video tour of Seattle. I took along a uh, well-known YouTuber that might live nearby me, we found out. <laughs> and I said, hey, what do you think about going and testing these things out and showing people a little bit of the Seattle area? So I'm going to get started on Amazon real quick, just because I want to show you guys where to find these. So if you are already following me on Amazon, good job. Thank you. If you're not already following me on Amazon, I'm going to give you the URL to do that in the lower corner down there. So that's where my Amazon shop is. I have all of my deals, all of my reviews, all of my videos, all of my live streams are there. If you follow me on Amazon, you get notified each and every time I go live, which is awesome. And it's going to allow you to enter our giveaways. I try to give away, you know, items. And today we're actually going to be giving you the details in this pr video premiere on how you can enter the giveaway for one of these. These are not. <laughs> uh, these are not your uh, grandma's uh, scooters here. But definitely some scooters that we like to check out. Um, you know, I'm going to be giving away the XR. So give me one second here. I got to restart my Amazon event. It did not work. Give me one second. It had a problem. Sorry if you were watching on Amazon. I will get that going right now. <laughs> and I will be here. We're going to go to recent. I got to hit that button. And we'll get this back going. Again, if you're on YouTube, you didn't notice anything. Everything was good to go. We're just waiting for the Amazon to catch up. 
I gotta do one quick thing. Bounce and bounce. And we'll get this going. Amazon does not like pre-recorded videos. So having an intro loading screen, they canned me for that. Can you believe that? <laughs> so what do you do, right? So I'm going to get the Amazon loaded back up here because that's where we want to catch some of our people so you guys can see this. And we will uh, then be rolling some video of Seattle. Apparently, I'm going to have to pause it occasionally and talk about it just so they don't get me uh, here because I've already gotten in trouble, apparently, with the Amazon police. So we'll get that going here. One second. <laughs> and hopefully that uh, restream got going. Um, if you're in the chat, let me know if you've ever used one of these e-scooters. If it was another brand, that's fine. I would love to hear about it. Because I want to show you guys this. Here we go. Taking a look right now. I'm trying to get this Amazon app to load. And making sure that everything is good with it. Take a look at the chat here. I got a few friends I got to say hi to. <laughs> and he's going to get ready for the next stream. Jonathan Talks Hardware is one of those. Uh, he is one of those great friends of the show here. I see Pinky Tech. He's saying hi, Zach. In there. <laughs> DW says, got racks. Uh, I have racks and racks of hardware. I don't think you're going to be able to see all of them, but... I have multiple racks of hardware along that wall here. I'm going to take a look at the preview, make sure everything's working. We'll get the uh, Amazon streaming. It says it's going. Unfortunately, sometimes I have to crash the app and reload it. I'll go to preview. Okay, here we go. We're going back live on Amazon. Amazon, if you're watching, I am live. Hey, you just shut me down. I am live. I'm right here. I'm not using pre-recorded video. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Play again some other time. But yeah, I'm here today for GoTrax. We're checking out the full line of GoTrax equipment here from their e-scooters. Uh, again, have a really cool video I want to show you. And I am going to pause it every 30 seconds, Amazon reviewer that apparently doesn't like me. And uh, we will talk about the items in the video. Sorry, you're going to have to watch it that way on YouTube. But that's going to be our premiere of that video. It's going to tell you more about these scooters. I'm also going to show you more about them um, you know, on the Amazon site. We're going to go through the unboxing of them. Yes, it's pre-recorded because I didn't want to have to box one, unbox it, and do all that stuff to show it to you right now. But I'm going to stop and do that. I do. I am allowed to show pre-recorded video as long as I'm here. Hi. <laughs> So thank you guys. Uh, and oh my goodness, I got somebody in here. <laughs> PC Tech Hustle says, five bucks. My son said he likes scooters and the beard. Now, I wouldn't say these are toys. That's one of the things I do have to point out. Um, these are definitely a commuter scooter. So I want to point that. And thank you for the super chat, Tech Hustle. That's awesome. Another great YouTuber. Um, but I want to point out these things go 15 and a half to 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour is no joke when you're working on a 10 inch wheel. So, you know, again, safety first, wear all the safety gear. In the videos you're gonna see today, you're gonna see me riding around in safety gear. There's none, gonna be none of that. Hey, welcome back on the Amazon. Apparently the uh, Amazon <laughs> sensors got a little excited about my intro video. They were not as excited as I was about it, but uh, they shut us down, but we're back on Amazon and we're gonna be showing a premiere here shortly and it's going to have information about how to do our giveaway, which is awesome. Very excited about that. Again, today's show is sponsored by GoTrax. I wanted to thank them <laughs> uh, up in the corner there, sponsored by GoTrax. Uh, they did provide these units, and they are providing the giveaway item, which is really awesome of them. So thanks again to GoTrax for supporting independent content creators like myself. And we are going to get going with another video here i want to show you and i'm going to be here the whole time amazon i'm going to be overlaid on it even i'm not even going to let it go full screen just because i don't want uh, any confusion here <laughs> and this video is uh with a friend of mine you may know another content creator and we took these things out for a riding test so i don't know how you expect me amazon to ride these in my little studio to demonstrate them so i do have to roll some b-roll here of seattle which you guys should know and love by now and uh, we'll take a look at it so here we go that's unloading it hopefully you guys can still hear me talking 
Hey, welcome everyone. It is John the Net Guy, and today I've got my friend Danny from Nerd on a Budget. And the GoTrax company has sent us out these really cool electric scooters to try out. And I thought, what better as Seattle based YouTubers than to take you around our hometown? Even better, GoTrax said I can give away one of these to you guys. Hey, there we go. Just wanted to pause the video here and show you guys the backdrop here. How cool is that? That backdrop is Seattle from Gasworks Park. That's where we started out our journey on these. And this was an awesome uh, event. We took these through Seattle, got to go to the cool highlights. If you've never been to Seattle, just believe us when I say, you know, it's gray, you know, gray and dreary and, you know, no fun. Nobody likes it. Definitely whatever you do, don't come to Seattle permanently but you can come visit uh, i would recommend july august september because that's our three months a year of summer we're gonna get back to playing this back here and i'm gonna get to show you uh some cool things that these go tracks will do so if you're on amazon and you're watching uh, let me know what you think here we've got the go tracks full lineup i'm tagging them in the carousel here we've got the xr ultra we've got the gxl v2 and we have the G4, which is the big daddy. We'll talk about that here in a sec. I see Brandy. Um, now she says it's working on Amazon, which is great. Awesome. And uh, Jeff says, hello. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you so much uh, in the chat for joining us. We're going to keep going. Here we go. Tips. All right. So if you're interested in winning one of these, just go out to your hometown to whatever landmark or place you like to visit and take a selfie of you there holding out a peace sign. Then, uh, Post a photo to Twitter with the hashtag GoTrackSelfie and you could be entered in a chance to win one of these. And full details will be obviously in the Twitter post. Check it out there. And we're going to go take you around and do some example selfies in Seattle Landmarks. All right, let's do it. So first up, let me tell you about the scooters that we have today. There is the GXL V2, which has a 12 and a half mile range. We've got the XR Ultra, which is the same as the GXL V2 with a 17 mile range. And the big daddy, which I'm riding on here, is the G4, 20 mile an hour top speed, 25 mile range. And Danny's getting used to here the uh, dynamics of driving a scooter on uneven terrain. We took a few minutes to get ready and get familiarized with the scooters, their controls. They have a nice cruise control feature, which is awesome. Very stable. The G4 happens to have larger wheels, a 350 watt motor, which level two, baby. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> As you can see there, it leads to a higher top speed and an easy race. And there we go, guys. Sorry to have to pause this one more time here. I uh, have to make sure the Amazon people know that I'm a real live human being here and uh, we will fool the robots out there. Uh, no, this is John the Net Guy. We're taking a look at these scooters. Uh, I was just telling you about the G4. Now, these scooters are a little bit shorter. That's one thing that you can tell automatically between these. The, the ride, the tiller height is a little bit taller on the G4. But let me tell you about the motors on the G4. So the G4 is going to have rear wheel drive. So it's got a rear 350 watt hub centric motor in the back of it here. Actually, you know what? I can show you because... I can break this thing down in just a few seconds and I can lift it up <laughs> and show you that motor. So the motor is actually right in the back. Now compared to the other ones, the motor's actually in the front. So just swapping them out there real quick. This one does collapse down. That's another really cool feature of it. It's in the collapsed position. Maybe I'll leave them that way. And I'm gonna go back here <laughs> and we will get the Amazon people back eventually. Uh, we're gonna keep going here on the video. Here we go. First stop is the Fremont Troll. You may have seen this. This lives under the Aurora Bridge. Don't forget to hashtag GoTrackSelfie and send your landmarks for a chance to win. Now on. Let me know if you guys are hearing the audio on that. I just want to make sure that the audio, it's, it's supposed to be playing. It says it's playing in here, but I just want to double check to be sure that the audio from this video is working because it does describe a little bit about the product here. Um, so we're gonna head out from the Fremont Troll here. We're gonna head down to another landmark you guys might have seen in Seattle on these, which was really cool. And we're gonna go to that next stop here in just one second. And yeah, here we go. Todd Kessel says we're good, I, I believe him. After that is a very popular landmark in Queen Anne Hill. 
Can't let Danny have all the fun. Selfie number two. There we go. So yeah, that's some uh, some B roll here. I'm running Amazon. I'm live. Just so you know, John, the net guy. We're absolutely live right now. Uh, just wanted to make sure that you are seeing this and. We have uh, GoTrax sponsored today's show with their three GoTrax units right here. I'm going to show you all about them right now. I'm just showing you the premiere of some video that I have Our on YouTube coming city out commuter bikes, of Seattle. And they're not toys. That's one thing I have to point out. These are not generally for kids. They recommend 16 and up, but my 12-year-old was able to handle them pretty easy. Next landmark is Climate Pledge. There we go. So that was uh, the Queen Anne Lookout. That's an area that if you're familiar with Seattle, you've probably been to the Queen Anne Lookout. Lots of people love that place. It was incredibly crowded. Another nice thing I like about these scooters, when you're riding them, you are actually very thin. The tillers are not even as big as bicycle handlebars that might stick out. It gets a little bit of getting used to, or takes a little bit of getting used to even. So again, when I'm turning this one on, you'll get to see the, the headlight on it here. So there it is. That's the size of the tiller is literally about the same width as my body. So as I'm going along with this one here, you know, I'm not taking up a lot of space, which makes it really good in crowded areas, which is kind of cool. And I get a report from Randy that the, uh, you know, official rule link is not working, but we're going to get that uh, for the contest. You'll get some more details on the contest coming up. Uh, we're going to get back to our video, though. The Seattle Center and the International Fountain. Here is where the Seattle Supersonics used to play. And Seattle's becoming more of an e-scooter town. Here's some of the other guys beat up scooters, but you, Seattle-based YouTubers. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are seeing that there, but this is some of the other scooters that they had. Sorry, that uh, decided to skip forward in our video <laughs> when I tapped that. I was just showing you some of the other scooters that are available from the other guys. There we go. Um, so it's just, ke it's just catching back up. It'll be there in just one second. So these are the other guys scooters, uh, and they rent these out. You know, there's several vendors that do this, but you know what? They're beat up. The batteries might be low. They may not be ready. And you know what? They don't collapse. So you can't take your scooter onto your bus, your bus to near your bus station, near your work, and then the scooter for the rest of the way. So you kind of have to hope that you grab one. This is why owning a scooter from GoTrax is such a better idea here. Uh, and why I would recommend it highly. So uh, if you're just joining us on Amazon, this is John the Net Guy. I see Radha. Thank you so much. Hello. <laughs> Radha, nice to see you. Let me know if you see that. Uh, this is John the Net Guy. We are just, there is no video. They're saying, you know what? <laughs> There's no video. That is going to be an Amazon problem, not a me problem. Let me go do double check real quick here. Yep. It is uh, transmitting to Amazon, so hopefully they're doing that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, if not, we might be doing a video on YouTube here, and we'll deal with them when they get back. So we'll get going here. E-Scooter Town here. Some of the other guys beat yeah, up John scooters, the Net Guy. Thank you guys you so much for joining here. Danny could not resist smooth pavement as a chance to go ahead and test out the top speed and the maneuverability of his XR Ultra here. The XR Ultra definitely is a lighter weight version. Luckily, Danny weighs a lot less than I do, but you can see him putting it through his paces here. And it's got a decent 15 and a half mile per hour top speed and eight and a half inch pneumatic filled tires. Braking on all of these is controlled by an electronic assisted braking system, which will actually help you slow down with motor braking as well as disc brakes on all models. GoTrax units are built by Tau Motors, a company with a long history of making electric powered vehicles with over a million units produced. GoTrax is their US based company in Texas. Welcome everybody, this is John the Net Guy. If you're just tuning in, we're live on YouTube right now. Sorry to pause you guys every once in a while. We're dealing with Amazon. They, uh, they shut us off a second ago and they're not playing our video properly on Amazon, even though we're transcoding and doing all the other stuff. But uh, you know, Amazon is what it is. Apparently my audio is coming through, so <laughs> who knows? I'm going to keep playing this. This is 
uh, Danny, he's testing out the XR Ultra. So he has the XR Ultra, uh, which is actually one of their kind of their mid range, 15 and a half mile an hour top speed, 17 mile range, which is a huge amount of range. Uh, when you consider this as an electric powered scooter that charges in about four, four and a half hours, the one that I have collapsed down here and I can bring it back up. The big daddy in the fleet is the G4 here, and I should bring this up on the side screen so you guys can see this. So the big daddy is, is the G4, and I'll put the lock in on this one. And the nice thing about the G4 is the 20 mile an hour top speed and 25 mile range. That range is five miles longer than my plug-in hybrid out there. So uh, definitely a commuter scooter, but we're going to get back to the video here. Uh, Pinky Tech's asking a great question, though. What's the weight limit on these? Well, the weight limit is 220 pounds. So uh, that definitely was my pre-COVID weight. So we're going to leave it at that. If you do need a tiny bit more, you can. <laughs> so uh, if you want a tiny little bit more weight capacity, you can get the G Max. So their G Max, I believe, is 260. So it gives you a little tiny bit more. But great question from our friend Pinky Tech there. We're going to keep on rolling here hoverboards, e-bikes, and electric scooters, which are great in between. Here, Danny's gonna be trying a slight uphill and an unexpected bump towards the end. way through the International Fountain, we got to test the downhill braking capability as well as a slight uphill incline. The units had no problem handling these small inclines and were great all around electric scooters. Luckily, we missed getting clobbered by the water from the International Fountain, but I got a picture. Going through downtown Seattle, we were really glad we didn't have to park a car. That can take forever, and we ran over to Pike Place Market. So we made it to Pike's Place. We survived. How was it? Uh, it was really fun. This is my first time on an electric scooter, so uh, it was pretty intuitive to use, I would say. So good for beginners. Now, I've kept a little bit more COVID weight on than you have. <laughs> so I technically like the G4. It's got a lot more power, 350 mm -hmm. watt motor. Yours is? 250 watts on this one. And it surprisingly handled hills and like riding through grass pretty well. Things that you think would slow it down, um, I'm not the heaviest person. I come in around 135 pounds-ish, so yeah. Perfect, yeah. So if you were a little bit lighter person, I could see getting the XR, which is what you've got. I've got mm -hmm. the G4, and this thing, 20 miles an hour top speed, it's pretty fast. That was fun getting around on it. Yeah, I would say that uh, if you're like under probably 170, 150 maybe ideally, the, the small ones will be plenty of power for you, so. Awesome. Well, hopefully you've liked those pictures of Seattle that we took. Thanks again to GoTracks for providing these two for us to review. And thanks, Danny, man, for coming out with me. Thanks for inviting me out to do this. This was very fun. <laughs> so Pinky Tech asked the uh, apt question. He goes, did he say he was 135? Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, I think I got about 100 pounds on Danny. But the funniest story actually happened while we were filming this. I'll give you a little background. Uh, we're going to come around the corner here in Pike's Place to one of the really cool locations that we did our last selfie at. And we started to go up a hill that was literally like this. Now I got to get myself up here so you guys can see this. This hill is like this. It's Stewart Street, if you know where I'm talking about. Pike's Place up to First uh, Stewart Street's a hill like this. And, um, you know, these things are good for slight inclines. They're going to go up hills. They're not going to go max speed up a hill, which is normal. And again, that uses more battery. But it was funny because he's on the XR and he's like, I wonder if this thing will go up the hill. 135 pounds. He hits it. I'm using uh, another feature, which I'll talk about in a little bit here, which is pedestrian mode on the G4. He's using that and he's going up the hill on the, the XR at like three, four miles an hour, but he's doing it. it. Like he was going straight up it, which is pretty amazing, actually. Thought that was really funny here. Um, Side Dad and Pups, thank you so much for joining. I think a few people got wise and jumped over because they wanted to see this live stream. So thank you so much for that here. Uh, and we're, oh, Stewart Street flashbacks, as Zach says. Yes, Stewart Street is a bear. So we're going to keep going on our video. 
Quick reminder on the giveaway. Yeah, so again, if you want a chance to win one of these, go out to your hometown, to whichever landmark, park, or wherever you like to go. Uh, take a selfie of yourself holding a peace sign so that we know that you did this now and not like use an old photo of yourself. But uh, yeah, take a picture of the peace sign and upload it to Twitter uh, with the hashtag GoTrackSelfie and you'll be entered for a chance to win one of these. So official contest rules at the link below, right? Yep. And we're going to go hit a coffee at the first Starbucks that was ever around. All right. Yeah. Let's, Let's do it. Going through the thick streets with lots of people here reminded me of how nice it is not to be on a hoverboard right now, which would be perilous, or an e-bike, which wouldn't collapse down and would be very difficult to take on any public transportation. As you can see, pretty easy to be nice and thin and sneak through the people here in this crowded area. And then when we get to the open areas, we can open it back up. And for our final selfie, we took a picture in front of the very first Starbucks store ever opened. Overall, it was a great trip around Seattle and the GoTrack scooters performed flawlessly. I'm going to show you, stop it real quick here, just so I can describe what's going on a little bit in more detail than I do, because it goes pretty quick here. Um, he's actually showing you the breakdown technique of the XR and the GXL V2. So the GXL V2 was their original scooter. Um, what's interesting is actually on these smaller scooters, there's a little bit in the handle. You see how there's a little bit of movement? Now that goes all the way down to the front wheel and that's because it's on a hinge. And that hinge has got a bunch of safeties in it. Don't worry, it's not gonna collapse while you're riding. They've done a really good job on that. But it's a little bit different. So this tiller, you can see how it flexes a little bit. This one over here, much less flex, but that's because it has a collapsing tiller. This one collapses down much, much tighter. So that little tiny electric vehicle I was telling you about, I was actually using this one in that electric vehicle. I was able to use the XR. I was not able to get the G4 to fit in it because this thing is just too big, but I was able to get the XR to break down and go in the back of my little electric vehicle, which is pretty much all batteries in the trunk. So a uh, pretty cool thing there. So I just wanted to point that out as he puts it in the back of my SUV here. Up was super simple. As Danny had demonstrated here, you could just fold them right down and put them in the back of the car. G4 is a little bit larger. The tiller actually collapses here and hooks on the back. It was very easy to fit all three scooters on one side of the third row of my SUV, as well as all my production gear. So there you have it. GoTrax makes some incredible, high-tech and well-built electric scooters, which are ready to tackle your city, campus, or commute. A special thanks to Danny for helping me out with this video. And if you're in the market for a transportation alternative, you should check them out. Well, there you guys go, everybody. That was the video and I will be producing or sorry, producing. I produced the video. I will be publishing that video so you guys can see it uninterrupted in its full length. Amazon, thank you so much for uh, breaking my stream earlier. That was just nice of you. Uh, now I got to go figure out what the heck you did uh, because I was not able to keep us going on Amazon, but that's fine. Again, YouTube, you're my audience. You're the OGs if you're on YouTube. Giveaway details, I will pull those back up here in a little bit so you guys don't worry about those. Um, I'm going to keep actually the little caption since we're on YouTube and I can't get in trouble. I'm going to do the uh, GoTrax selfie challenge here. So again, take a selfie at some location that you would like to be able to use a scooter, whether it's on your morning commute, whether it's somewhere you like, uh, maybe it's just down in your neighborhood and take a selfie, flash me a peace sign, do what we did in that. I did it seven times through the, the Seattle landmarks, flash me a peace sign. Let me know that it's uh, for the GoTrack selfie contest. And it's not some, you know, picture you took for somebody else. Um, that way we know that we're getting official entries. Go ahead and tag that on Twitter. Now, what if I don't have a Twitter account? Guess what? This is an evolving contest. We're going to be doing, uh, sorry, October 11th is the drawing. I think I'm going to come up with an alternative way for you guys to enter that maybe don't have that. So keep tuned into this channel. Uh, hopefully next week we'll be back on Amazon Live and you can watch us there. Uh, and we'll get the official rules page up working there. Thanks, RJ, for reporting that. Uh, had some issues publishing earlier, so I'll get that out there. But um, you'll have a chance to win the XR. Now, that's the 17-mile range, the 15.5-mile-per-hour unit. Uh, let's talk about why these are not toys. That was another thing that kind of came up earlier. Now, when you're talking about a 15-mile-per-hour top speed, that's actually not 
uh, that slow. <laughs> you know, when you think about it, give me one second. I think this thing does not want to hide. There we go. Was, my touch screen wasn't working. I'll tell you everything today. So yeah, uh, 15 mile an hour top speed is pretty fast. Now, do you want your 13, 10 year old going there? No. Uh, now it does have pneumatic tires. That's another thing that I should point out. I'm going to move a couple of these out of the way just so I can maneuver a little bit here in the studio, get them to where I can still see them here. And hopefully you guys can still see them and we'll just collapse one down and we'll talk about it here. So if I want to collapse this thing down and I'm going to bring it back so you guys can see that they're on the floor, there is a little safety. Let me do that this way. So this thing's only 26 pounds, you know, 26 pounds is about three gallons of milk. Uh, so if you're able to carry three gallons of milk, you'll be able to carry this entire thing. But you can see it's got a kickstand here. I can pull the kickstand down if I want. Right down by the kickstand is actually, let me see if I can pull it up on the side camera even better. Sometimes this camera does even better. Here we go. Yep, that's what I figured. Okay, so you can see there, there's this little red handle. If I pull the red handle and turn it, I've now unlocked it. So that's the safety that keeps it from accidentally collapsing while you're flying along at 15 miles an hour. Then I'm going to pull this up and that's going to release the handle. And now the whole thing can come down. Now, what's cool about this, and you have to adjust it for the best lock, is I can now walk around with this thing. Let me get back out here so you can see this, how cool it is. So I can literally just walk with this thing. The front wheel, even though it's a motor, is automatically just freewheeling there. So I can hold the back wheel. I can hold it by the tiller. And so you can be on a bus. <laughs> I just opened it. Um, you can be on a bus, and this is how much room you would take. I actually thought about taking one of these on my recent trip to Texas because, you know, if I can just stand like this, I'm not taking really any more footprint here than I normally do. So you can pack this thing with you. And when you get off that bus, so maybe you're in downtown, you can go ahead and pull it up. And that's all you have to do. Everything's back. The safety's back in. And now I've collapsed and I'm ready to go again. Um, how do I use this? How do I turn it on? Let's talk about that. Super duper simple. So your other you know, scooters have hard tires. This thing has pneumatic tires. They take 50 PSI. So make sure you do that. I'm going to pull it up real quick so you can see that because it's kind of a competitive differentiator, as they say. So again, I want you to be able to see this and pull it up on this. So this is that front wheel that's also a motor. So that's where the motor is. And this is real common now with a lot of these e-bikes. And, you know, the, uh, the GoTrax company is the Texas company for Tau Motors. Tau Motors is the one that makes these. And these fill up to 50 PSI, but they're actually going to be shock absorbing. So you're going to be able to take a little bit more of the road bumps and bruises. It's not going to have suspension, which makes it a little bit simpler to build, less maintenance overall. You know, it's a motor, a battery, and a couple wheels. But I just wanted to point out that real quick. Now, if you're ready to go and you want to ride this thing, let me show you the, the button configuration and what it does. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and hit this button to turn it on. And you can see just very quickly what happened there. So that's the, the throttle. Now, if I hit this, this is how I go fast. <laughs> if I hit that, it's not going to do anything. I actually have to give it a little bit of momentum. And you can see the counter change there real quick, hopefully. Um, the counter changes as it's moving because it's seeing how fast you're going. So I have to do a little bit of momentum. Got my bell there if I need it. Um, but then, you know, if I hit this again, that's how it was turning on that headlight. Now this, the XR and the GXLV2 have the same headlight. I'd call it like a, maybe a medium brightness headlight. It's not going to be super bright at night and it just has standard reflectors everywhere. So this one at night riding, if that's going to be your thing, you're doing a lot of it, you know, you can get away with some extra visibility with that front LED headlight. But if you really want to do that, we'll get up to the G4. We'll talk about that one. I'm going to go take a look at the chat real quick, see if we have any questions, anything I haven't answered. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll the unboxing video next because we're not on Amazon. I can't get in trouble. So here we go. I'm going to get you loaded up. We're going to do the unboxing so you can see what's involved when you get this and you order it, uh, what you get in the package.
But just some quick info here while I'm unboxing it, and you can see. Um, packaging is pretty good on this one. Doesn't take much to, to send this to somebody. So you're not looking at an enormous box. Coming from Amazon, um, I believe this thing's $389 right now. I'll have to go see what the current price is. We'll check check that after here. But uh, when you're on Amazon, you know, this thing will ship with free prime shipping, which is another thing. So that box is not enormous. Now, the other ones are a little bit uh, bigger. So that's just, you know, so um, the G4, exactly because it doesn't collapse down as tightly, it assembles a lot easier, but because it doesn't collapse down as much, it is going to take a little bit more assembly. So you'll see that here um, coming up. take all the packaging off here now they all come with a standard charger the one on the GX V2 is gonna be a little bit smaller I'll show you that here in a little bit but you can see how collapsed down this thing is that's why I was thinking I want to take this thing to Texas with me right because I could just totally bag it up you know put it in as a you know personal item or something it probably cost me 50 bucks each way was the only problem the only reason I didn't do that and I didn't have a lot of extra riding time but it would have been really sweet to take one of these around the airport. I wonder if I could call it a mobility device and see if they'd let me do that. <laughs> but it'd be pretty cool. Uh, I pulled out earlier and I showed you the Allen wrench that it comes with and the little uh, tire filler extension. Now, that's important, the tire filler extension. Um, I did not think about this and I didn't actually do, sadly, the work that was needed until afterward. But um, make sure your tire pressures are up. So, you know, this thing is going through many different you know, heat ranges and humidity and all that. And once I inflated the tires a little bit more, get them back up to 50, they ran really, really good. So if you, if you have the tires down a little bit, it's going to be a little bit softer ride. But again, uh, for me, when I need the extra, you know, <laughs> extra weight carrying capacity, get it right up to the, the 50 uh, PSI or whatever's printed on the tire. Again, if they change it, I want you to follow the manual here, but that's one of the things that they tell you to do is to check and make sure that the tires are all the way up. And that little device, I can show it to you right over here, looks like this. So this is a little tire filler extension, and you're going to need this because you're going to need to plug into that tire, and you're going to need to plug into the pump side uh, and fill that thing back up. But it actually worked really, really well. And once these things were uh, all the way full, it was great. I'm going to show you how to connect the tiller, that's the top mount, to the base here on this XR in just one second, coming right up. So now when it arrives, here's something special. It's not going to have the tiller mounted. So you're going to have to take the tiller cap off. And this is to keep dirt and anything else going on. So you take these two Allen head screws out. And this is actually on the other one. I'm, I'm going to grab the G4 in front of me here. But on the other one that we're looking at right now, the XR, it actually has a little bag, like a bag holder here on the clip, which is great. So I've been using that. Now you are going to have to put the tiller on. So you can take those two Allen screws out. Put the tiller on, and all of your electrical connections are done right there. So when it pushes down, it's making all those connections possible. And then we're going to put the bottom Allen in. And I recommend doing this first. Uh, you're going to connect the brakes if you've ever worked on a bicycle. Really, really simple. And pull the handbrake down. You add the little end through there, and then you add it to this. And that's going to tension your brakes up now. You can adjust the brakes. It does have electronically assisted braking on this. I need to point that out. So it's got electronic assisted brakes. What does that mean? Well, it's actually, when you're hitting the brake, it's actually using the engine, the, the, the electric motor to slow you down first, and then it's gonna be using the disc brake. So if you're not getting the braking that you want, make sure to calibrate those brakes by adjusting, and it's in the manual, adjust that back brake cable, and it's gonna be great. Okay, yep, thank you, Pinky. I turned the volume down on the unboxing video, so there we go. I still got to do a voiceover on the unbox, so you're getting the voiceover today. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up there. And again, that's how all you have to do. Literally, just two screws in, two screws out, and this thing's ready to go. Now, I would recommend, again, while you're doing this, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and tighten the rest of them. Go through here. I'm just showing you how you peel off the top and you peel off the other uh, bottom here as well. So there you go, peeling that off, and then we'll turn it on again. Simple push button to turn on. I'm gonna pause it here for just a second. 
Um, headlight actuation is really simple. Just push it in, push it off. Now they've done something really smart here, which is to turn the unit back off, you need to hold the power down for an extended period of time, actually. And that's so that you're not accidentally like bumping the power button and all of a sudden the thing turns off and you take a nosedive, right? Nobody wants that. So that's another safety feature that they've got in here. You'll see it takes me a second to turn it back off because I actually have to hold the button down for a long period and then it shuts it all the way off and you can go there. So uh, DC charging on the XR and the GXL V2 is done in the tiller. So this is the G4. This one right here that I'm bringing over is the XR and the way you charge it is through the tiller handle up top here. Now, is that as convenient? Maybe, maybe not. There's actually a port on the bottom on the G4 where you plug in, which is actually a little bit more inconvenient, I think on the G4 for charging. But again, both of them charge in under five hours. I think that's the last on that video. I'm just gonna make sure. Yep. So I just wanted to show you a quick unboxing instead of doing it live for you here because hey, I don't have a box anymore. <laughs> actually, I do. Um, the one you are going to get is actually, let me look at the front of these. Um, this is the one right there. So this is the one you're actually going to win is that unit. Uh, and it is ready to go. Um, more details on the giveaway coming up for sure. Next, I'm going to switch over to the fun one. This is the one I like. This is the one that could carry me. It's got an extra 100 watts of battery. And it's got a lot of different features. I'm going to try a camera we have not used today. <laughs> <laughs> just to show you the next feature. Hey, welcome. We're on the top down camera. Um, and hopefully you guys can see the controls here. That's what I really wanted to show you. So maybe I can even zoom in a little bit more. It'll do, it'll focus. Now, when I turn this thing on, it's got a, a prompt, like it's got a little lock icon and it's got a prompt and it's actually asking me to enter a code. So if you've got kids, this might be the one for you. You go ahead and you enter a super secret code here. And now you're ready to ride. So level one. So now I can ride this thing again. All of these, you're going to have to give a little bit of a push off to start. So again, give a little bit of a push off and then you hit the throttle and you're good to go. Hopefully it's focusing again. So I've got 13.5 miles on this one and that's not a lot. Uh, I used a quarter the other day because I went and took my Redbox movies back. That's about a mile and a half down. And uh, I'm going to be releasing a video here soon of my trip to the Amazon Go store. If you've never been to one, it's really cool. I actually took this to the Amazon Go store and I'm going to show you how I was actually able to use the security features and some of the carrying features like this clip here. So I like this clip. If you're somebody that's going to need to carry a backpack and you don't want to wear it and you're okay with putting it on the tiller, you can actually clip in bags, a laptop bag, anything. You can put it right through the top here. And that's another one. So a couple things about this one. It does have a bell. It's up here now instead of over right here on the other ones because this one has a control input. Now you can see I can do plus and minus. If I hold plus, it turns on the headlight on this one. Now you can't necessarily see it on that camera, but this headlight is much brighter than all of the other ones. You can see it's actually changing the camera illumination probably for the better here. Um, so this has one of the brightest headlights of all their units. And when I was riding with my daughter at night and we ran around our loop here, that headlight extra power was nice. It also has a brake light that's lit back here. Now, you're probably not going to see it, but guess what? <laughs> My camera's hunting all over. It's like, help. Um, that brake light blinks when you hit the brakes. Again, electronically assisted braking. And then back here, you can see this disc brake. So as I hit the brakes, I'm actually actuating a disc brake back there. So you got two forms of braking on this one, which is pretty cool. Um, just taking a look here at the chat, make sure I didn't miss anything. We're taking a look at the G4 right now. A couple extra things <laughs> about this one. Uh, level one, level two. You saw me when I was coming by Danny and I did that pass in our video. I hit the, the L2 button. Now what that does, is it opens up the full 20 miles an hour. So, uh, with my daughter, I let her ride this one just to see the difference in handling and power that this one has. And I was like, keep it on L1. You know, again, who knows if she did for a while, uh, but that's going to limit you to the same as the XR and the, uh, the light. Uh, another feature that this one has that none of the other ones have, which is that if you hit the minus button here, watch what it's doing. It just took off on its own. Now I said you had to push it before to go, well, this is pedestrian mode. So maybe I've got stuff in my hands and I just need it to come with me. I push that button <laughs> and it's starting to go. I'm gonna go back out to the big camera so you guys can see that. So literally 
let's say I got you know a bunch of stuff in my hands and I just need this thing to drive itself. Hit the button, three miles an hour, it's going to be fixed and it's going to drive itself at three miles an hour, which is pretty slick. So uh, that's the pedestrian mode. That's one of many, many modes that this thing's got. I'm going to go ahead and turn the headlight off on that as well. So you saw we have the two speed modes. We have the headlight capability. We have the pedestrian mode. We have the digital lock interface, which is really cool on this. I want to show you one more feature and I'm trying to try to figure out which camera. I think it's going to be this way. <laughs> I'm trying not to put, put my back to the camera, but I want to show you a cool feature that's right here on the tiller stem. If you guys can see that, that's a coded lock. Now, Again, I'm picking the most secure codes that I can, but you see that? That's an integrated tiller lock right there. And what that's gonna do, I'll show you in a, a future video here when I went to that Amazon store, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out for you guys so you can see it. So it's probably an 18 inch loop. And what it's designed to do is to go around something metal, you know, maybe it's the base of that, and then back in and push. And it's got an integrated bike lock in the tiller, which is pretty slick there. So you can imagine that. So if you're going somewhere and you need to leave your scooter, and again, this is a high value item, so you're not gonna wanna leave it just anywhere. But if you need to leave your scooter, you can attach it to a pole or something else. And again, it's gonna keep the honest people honest. Could somebody cut this? Probably. But again, push the button, it releases it. And this is what I did at my Amazon Go store, just so somebody doesn't enjoy riding my whip. That's the technical term. Um, so there's that. Now let me go ahead and turn this thing back off and I'm going to show you another safety feature that it has. So let's say you've locked this thing up. You're at your Amazon Go store. You've hooked up the, the tiller and somebody cut it or something and they started to walk away with your item, right? So they start walking away with it. Check this out. <laughs> it's literally blinking and it's actually using the electric brake from the engine. So I'm able to move it, but it's not like I can coast it real easily. I'm having to push every way. And when I finally get it to actually, let's see, it's not going to turn off until I put the code in. So I'll put the code in real quick. I'll show you what that looks like on the top down camera. So it's not happy right now for sure. Now you can pick your own code. I did not program this one on purpose. So it's got the original code. If you stop moving, it quits beeping and getting all the attention after you. But that's another thing that's got a digital uh you know screen here as well to do that digital locking capability so it's not now again super easy to move now because it's not doing the digital braking the electronically assisted braking so again that's the g4 just last thing again about how it collapses because i think that's important so you know if you're looking at the differences on these and maybe you know what the um you know you're kind of in that selection mode saying which one's the best one for me if you hit this front you lift up and fold down and then push down, it's got like three safety catches there. So this doesn't go while you're riding. And that is how you collapse it. Let me go show you what that looks like here. That's the collapsed version of the G4. Now it's already looped through. So it's there laying on the floor and I can pick it up and take it with me. Now, is this as convenient? <laughs> Again, it's a lot heavier for sure. So is this as convenient as the XR? No. So this one is much less portable. It's 36 pounds. So you're about half much more uh, weight on this versus about a 25, 26 pounds on the other ones. And it's not going to compress as tightly, but you know what? I was able to get into the, the trunk on my car. I got all three of these in one seat on the back third row of my SUV. So they definitely fit really well there. Taking a look real quick at the chat. St. Augustine. Now, there you go. And there's a Win Dixie, a red box with a Win Dixie. That's funny. Oh my gosh. Jonathan talks hardware. We're talking red box over there because I took one of these down to the red box. I love that. Uh, I actually went to Win Dixie and got a ton of fuel points <laughs> when I was on vacation down there. Um, but yeah, to, to get it back up into riding mode, this one's almost the same. You lift it all the way up, we put the catch over, and you close the safety latch. And that latch will not come down, you know, or come apart no matter how much you push on it right now. So that's another really cool feature about the G4. So I think we've covered a lot of stuff. There is one other feature that all of these share, which is a cruise control. Just one quick note on the cruise control capability here. Um, if you're going to use the cruise control, when you push all the way down for 10 seconds. So this is when you're going for a long duration ride. When you push this down for 10 seconds, you're going to hear a double beep and it's going to flash the screen on either of them and it's going to be in cruise mode. Now, 
if you're going up a hill and you lock your cruise control at seven, it's going to go seven <laughs> instead of 15. Uh, we had that experience when we were testing them out. But um, what you want to do is hold it at a consistent speed for 10 seconds, and then it realizes what you want to do, and then it goes ahead and puts it in there. So um, that is the G4. I'm going to go ahead and hit up Amazon, show you a little bit more about them, even though I'm not happy with them today. I'm going to hit up the Amazon site, and I'm going to check for any questions. If you got any questions about these, let me know. Again, if you are ever trying to <laughs> uh, watch me on Amazon, which I suggest... There is my Amazon shop. Um, this will show my last show here. So hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, this has all the items in here. It actually, if I come down here and I click on Idealist, that's what I really like to recommend. Click on Idealist. It has all of my Idealists here and it has my GoTrax special event list there. So $389 is the price for the GXL V2. And occasionally these things go on sale. I'll tell you that in this case, it does have an extra $40 off coupon that you can apply. I don't apply coupons um, through this browser. Excuse me. I don't apply coupons on this browser just because, um, you know, I don't want to be logged in and have you guys having to weed through all the addresses and stuff and it'd be different. But I'd recommend logging in. You can just find all of these if you visit my... Amazon shop, which will be popping up in the lower corner there. You can see all of these deals at uh, amazon.com slash shop slash the net guy. Here we go. There's a view you haven't seen since the beginning. <laughs> so that's what I'd highly recommend if you visit there. Uh, let's take a look real quick at some of their pictures. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, it's definitely a commuter. That's one thing I would put in here is it's definitely the difference on this one is it's the commuter's scooter. So if you're somebody that's got to get on another mode of transportation, whether it's your car to a park and ride or something like that, this is something super light that you can toss in your car. If you've been looking for that, uh, you know, tax uh, <laughs> return gift for yourself, you know, this is one of those things. It's about that price range, you know, 389 minus 40 bucks is 349 right now. And this one has a slightly smaller charger. That's one other thing that I'll bring up, actually. I'm going to go grab the charger for it, which is right around the corner. And I'll just show you the difference on the chargers for these two. Just so you guys can. And again, let me know if you guys have any questions in the chat. The charger on this one, I believe, is an amp and a half. So I'm going to bring this over so you guys can see it up close. So that's the charger for the GoTrax GXL V2. So it's a little bit smaller charger. Um, so it's saying 12 mile range, 15 and a half mile um, speed max. It's got the electronic assisted braking, the rear disc brakes, and it's foldable in one quick motion. If you look at this one, this little bit larger charger is the one that they have for the XR and the G4. They share the same charger. So you get a little bit faster charging. I think it's maybe 30 minutes, honestly. And that's because of the very large disparity in battery sizes. The batteries are 50% uh, bigger on the next one. So let's take a quick look at the other models. So this is the XR Ultra. And again, I challenge you to find a difference. I have one thing I look at them uh, so that I know the difference on them real quick. But um, very, very little difference here on this one. Oh, it's got a 300 watt motor. I did not know that. Okay, so yeah, that was an, another difference on the publication. So ignore that when you see this. So it is got a slightly larger motor, it's saying on this one. Still same size tires, brakes, all that stuff. You wouldn't be able to tell, honestly, looking at them here. So uh, greater range on the batteries here. So their batteries are showing in the tiller. That's pretty cool on this. The batteries on the G4, I definitely believe are in the base of it because it is so much bigger. I do not think they were able to put all the batteries in the tiller, but it looks like I've got some batteries in the tiller. And there you go. So there's the durable all aluminum body. And yeah, it looks like that's in Vegas. And this is showing somebody carrying this thing. Now, the first two that I showed you, the GXL and the XR are exactly the same weight. Let me pull what that is. So you guys can see that real fast. Here's the weight tables. Hopefully you guys can read that. If not, I'm going to read it here. So the GXL V2, that's the first column. Supposed to be 12 and a half mile range. Uh, XR Ultra, 17 mile range. They're both coming in at 26.4 pounds. And then the G4 is the 37.5 pound. That's the big dog. Um, the chargers are 2 amp, 42 volt on the two larger ones and 1.5 amp, 42 volts on the smaller one. Uh, but again, most of the things between those are exactly the same. So you're not missing out much. Don't uh, 
be worried that if you get the uh, XL V2, other than the range difference, that you're not going to be getting a good quality product because there's definitely a quality product here. Taking a look, I showed you a little bit about the UI on the G4. The stem mounted LCD display on the XR and the XVL uh, are the same. Sorry, GXL V2 are exactly the same. Uh, and again, the headlight is probably much less, I would say, on the, the lower units. Um, you're not going to get that high brightness on the headlight. So uh, if you're looking at night riding, the G4 is where it's at. If you need a little bit more capability, the G4 is where it's at as well. Um, but if you're going to get one of these other ones, I wouldn't feel bad about it at all. I'm going to check the chat real fast, make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, are they giving away the double wheel one? Jonathan Talks Hardware asks. No, unfortunately, they did not even send me one of that. So we're taking a quick look at Amazon. <laughs> Can I take it on a plane? You know, that's a great thing. I believe you could take this thing if it was checked. Uh, I'm not sure again on all of that. And Pinky was asking, what does the charger look like? Uh, I showed the charger just a little bit ago. Um, that was available. So I'll show it one more time real quick here. So Pinky was saying, hey, what does the charger look like? Let me show you the difference in size of the two chargers. I'm going to get that back out here and we'll get over to this camera and you guys should be able to see them. So again, like I was saying, the, this is the one for the GXL V2 and this is the one for the XR Ultra and the G4 unit. So they're much different sizes on the chargers there as well. Um, so that's to answer that. So yeah, 80 watt charger on one and what, 60 watts on the other, if we do the math right. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. It's been a long show already. <laughs> Thank you guys again for uh, sticking through it with our Amazon troubles in the beginning. Uh, really do appreciate it. We will get them squared away and I'll do another Amazon specific show, I'm sure. I'm going to pull up my favorite again. If you have the funds available and you're really making an investment, if this is something that you think you're going to commute on, I would recommend the G4 or the G Max. Now the G Max, I don't have loaded up here, but let me do that real quick. And I'm just going to show you the difference on them real fast. So we're going to say the GoTrax G Max. Okay, and you're going to know immediately. So uh, GoTrax, again, is a Texas-based company. These are all manufactured by Tau Motors. Now, Tau Motors, they've had a 20-year history of making gas uh, motors. They switched recently to making electric, and now they're almost exclusively electric, which is another really cool thing. So this one, like I said, had a 25-mile range, and this is the G4. Um, I'm going to show you something which is pretty amazing. If I can get back to the right screen. I'm just tabbing through the wrong screens a bunch of times. And this is the G Max, or sorry, the G4. It has the 25 mile range, 20 mile per hour, uh, and 350 watt motor. But if you go over here, this G Max, this is the one that has a little bit heavier. Um, I think it's G Max Ultra. Let's go see. I was just looking at this G Max Ultra. 260, you'll have to go to their website to find out, but I believe it's the G Max that actually has the extra weight carrying capacity. And maybe it's just a difference on the listings here on Amazon, but I was able to see that. So about 265 is gonna be your highest listing there. But the G Max, if you take a look at these two listings here, the G Max and G Max Ultra, they've squeaked a little bit more out of the batteries. You're looking at a 45 mile range between charges. Again, that's double the range of my plug-in electric hybrid car and they're able to get that out of an electric scooter, which is pretty amazing. So 45 miles on a scooter. This is the G4. It does 25 miles at 20 miles an hour. Now, 20 miles an hour is nothing to, to, to joke about. And again, I, the first time I was going 20 miles an hour on this, on a 10-inch tire with a, a vertical steering tiller, I thought I was going to be you know, really worried about it. After a couple days of practice and riding it, 20 miles an hour is not exceptionally fast when you think about it. So again, 20 miles an hour is a good commuting speed on this. Would I want to fall any faster than that? No. And so again, in all the videos that you saw today, wearing all the safety gear. So uh, very, very cool capabilities there. I'm taking a look one more time at the list here. I just want to make sure I've covered everything about these and I'm going to bring up the comparison for them just so you guys can see. And again, if you're looking for the differences on these, um, the weight of them is another big differentiator. So if this is something that you're going to port around a lot, I would definitely recommend the smaller of the two versions. So I would definitely look at the GXL V2 or the XR Ultra, because again, they're a lot lighter, um, at 26 pounds, which is 12 kilograms. 
if you need something to move you around and you're a little bit heavier like me, <laughs> the 35 pounds is not really a big deal. It does collapse down, which is really important. Uh, one thing I want to point out about with these specifically is actually the IP rating. So there's an IPX rating. You'll hear that a lot. So it's, you know, uh, first number is the dust. The second number is the moisture rating. So these have an IPX rating. If you take a look at them here, the IPX rating on the smaller two ones is an IP54. So that means five, level five for dust intrusion and four for water. So what does that mean when it comes to, you know, your daily commute? If it starts raining, are you okay? Absolutely. If it starts flooding, can you drive through it? No, <laughs> that's a differentiator right there. So it's going to do light splashes. It's going to do mist. It's going to do light rain. Again, you have 80% of the traction when you're in rain. That's a motorcycling thing everybody knows about, hopefully. Um, you have 80% of the traction still in rain. Just make sure you're using it wisely. That's where the engine braking on this is kind of cool. Um, if you have the G4, it has an IPX4 rating. What does that mean? Well, they didn't test it for dust intrusion because dust intrusion, they're going to have to test the LCDs. They're going to have to test all the other components separately, but it has an IPX4 rating. So still the same water rating as the other two that you see here. Um, but just the difference is the amount of dust that uh, it can take is not measured in that. So that's the difference on there real quick. Just wanted to show that. The height when it's collapsed, I was not able to pull for the G4, but you can see where that attachment is on this image. It's, you know, partway up the tiller. And I just want you to compare that when I'm going to go ahead and collapse the other one here in just a second. I'm moving them around <laughs> on my side. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse this one for you. And I'm going to show you the difference of how much smaller, again, this one gets. So I'm going to go over the process on... This is the xr so again safety attachment here so you don't have to worry about that going while you're driving you can then pull this down and this is going to collapse down and then it actually uses the back tire here to collapse now you can see how this one's collapsed and how much shorter it will be when collapsed just like that so even in the box it's much shorter because that is the size it's actually collapsing and the hinge point is at the base you see how it's sitting on its own and as i bring it up it comes back up there so just wanted to show you that real quick that again is the xr and how it collapses you're going to get a little bit more play in the tiller so you're going to have to get used to that but it's still very stable and this one does have a lower top speed so you're only doing 15 and a half with the tiller like this and you'll notice the difference on this when you start to brake on this one it's actually braking with the front wheel electrically and the rear wheel with the disc. So it's actually two wheel braking. Whereas the other one, because the motor's in the back, all of the braking on the G4 is done from the back brake. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the show. I do want to share with you again, one more time, the um, giveaway details, because that is exciting to me, is that GoTrax has made it possible to give away a scooter to you guys. I want to thank you again for visiting here on the Amazon live event. My apologies for Amazon. <laughs> I have to figure out what's going on there. We'll do another event for the Amazon folks that didn't get to see this. And I'm gonna take a look, quick look at the chat before we shut down if there are any other questions. Did you get any speed wobbles? <laughs> you know, I was worried about that. Not at all, actually. Um, and because everything in the tolerances are so tight, I would recommend if you got the XR or the GXL, Go through with that Allen wrench. All of the Allens on here during shipping, you know, they're the same size. You can tighten them up. But I would just recommend give it another simple snug down on everything if you can. Make sure it's a little bit tighter. But no speed wobble issues. I did like the G4. Again, it's a lot more firmer feel because it doesn't collapse as small. So if portability is your thing and maybe price, I could definitely see you going with the XR, GXL. If you need to have uh, that larger stature, you need a little bit powerful, more powerful motor, maybe you need double the range, which is what the 25 mile range is for, then I could see you going with a G4 for sure. So um, making sure my inverter can charge it. Hey, Jeremy, absolutely. That would be kind of cool. He's using an inverter right now. So pretty much standard size laptop charger is what I think he was saying. So absolutely. Well, I want to thank you guys again for uh, coming along with me on this adventure tonight. I'm going to go ahead and pull up one more video <laughs> and that's just the existing video because i want to get it pre-done up to the point where we give away the rules for the giveaway because let me give one second here which is this okay i'm going to do the giveaway rules just one more time for you guys 
so that you can see because I did not actually preload this. So again, ignore the talking here. I'm going to go ahead and pause it as soon as Danny gets into the giveaway details here. But yeah, thanks again to uh, Danny Lee from Nerd on a Budget, another great YouTube channel. I figured out that we're miles apart. And so we're going to do a lot more cool stuff in the future here, I'm sure. Uh, we're both super nerds and we love doing this kind of stuff. So can't wait to do that. Here is a quick screenshot for you guys of the rules for the giveaway. So what does that mean? So if you want one of these units, and again, I'll pull it off to the side here, sorry. Um, if you want to get one of these units, we're doing a giveaway. This is going to be on Twitter. I'll probably come up with an alternative entry next week so you guys can do this, uh, which is to do a selfie in your town. We did seven of them with this video, so I really do appreciate all of you guys that watch this. Um, do a, a selfie in your town and tag go track selfie in the post on Twitter. Now, if you don't have a Twitter, send it via email. We'll uh, get this figured out. We're, we're low tech, but I'll get you entered in the drawing. The live drawing is going to be on October 11th. So that's going to be several weeks away here. I just wanted to give a lot of people enough time. Maybe you didn't see the show this week. I wanted to give you enough time to win this epic prize because it is a $400 value. So really excited about that. Uh, so thanks again to everybody who's checked in. That is the giveaway details. This has been John the Net Guy. Again, I want to thank GoTrax for providing these units for review and providing our giveaway unit, which... Hopefully one of you guys will win here in the very near future. <laughs> Jonathan says he screenshotted it already. Absolutely on those giveaway details. I'll have that a little more organized next time, but I do appreciate you guys checking in. Uh, hopefully you guys have got your questions answered. I will be live each and every Tuesday for Tech on Tuesday, same time. And I'll probably be doing another Amazon showcase specifically around these units just because of Amazon. You know Amazon. And we'll talk more about these units uh, on there so you can take a look at them. But I really do appreciate you for checking in. And I will catch you guys next week for Tech on Tuesday and get you a little more details about these. And for now, I will catch you guys all later.